Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q. We're working with the Happiness Project. We're going to get started right now. Be you. Let it go. Act the way I want to feel. Do it now. Be polite and be fair. Enjoy the process. Spend out. <laughs> Identify the problem. Lighten up. Do what ought to be done. No calculation. There is only love. So we're going to go into a few more here. People don't notice your mistakes as much as you think. <laughs> and it's okay to ask for help. Most decisions don't require extensive research. Do good, feel good. Bring a sweater. <laughs> a sweater. <laughs> it's important to be nice to everyone. Soap and water removes more stains. By doing a little bit each day, you can get a lot accomplished. Turning the computer on and off a few times often fixes the glitch. <laughs> if you can't find something, clean up. Happiness doesn't always make you feel happy. You can choose what you do. You can't choose what you like to do. <laughs> what you do every day matters more than what you do once in a while. You don't have to be good at everything. <laughs> If you're not falling, you're trying hard enough. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. What's fun for other people may not be fun for you and vice versa. No deposit, no return. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I love, I have so many like research books that I'm working with and um, the Happiness Project uh, is one of the books. I'll just give you what it looks like. Happiness Project, and so I'm just kind of about looking at some of these um, beautiful, I don't know, things that we could do, and it's really a 12, a 12 month, a full year of different things that we can do to feel lighter, feel happier, more expanded, all of that. It's really a, a fun book to uh, to take a look at. My daughter actually, I think, sent it to me. She was like, you need to do this, Mom, you know? And so I finally, you know, I've got so many books and so many different things, but I think right now the Happiness Project feels light. It feels super freaking light and really upliftment, right? It's a lot of upliftment. So sometimes we don't really know what we're going to be doing or what we're experiencing. But the more that we can kind of just go into these frequencies, these higher frequencies, we start getting more guidance, getting in the, the higher frequencies and the higher states of energy. And all of that is happening. So, you know, even with a, a happiness project, we're looking at what we call energy and higher states of frequency. So the more that we can really kind of like, you know, just kind of like play around with some of these words, play around with uh, the happiness project or play around with whatever is working for you, because the more that you continue to lift up and rise with the frequencies that you're working with, then you start actually manifesting and having more abundance and more more miracles that are coming in. So all of that is super fun. I absolutely love uh, working with uh, the manifestation, with the miracles, and just 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 realizing that it's an, it's a great opportunity to just simply rise up more with your frequency, going higher up into other states of consciousness. It could be 3D, 4D, 5D. And sometimes with me, it may, may go all the way to 90, and there may be more. So, But that's what really what we're working with is li lifting up, lifting up our state of consciousness. Maybe we've been kind of in a lull, you know, and we're not, we're not really in the right space, the right time, the right person. But just know that if you can just raise up, raise up that frequency, bring it up, bring it on up, people, bring it up, people, bring up that frequency. And so I've got a gong here, I would probably do that but right now I'm not going to do the gong but it's like it's so fun having all of these sound vibrations so if you're not really sure how you can raise your frequencies or your energies you might do some sound vibration you might be uh, an artist you might want to paint some things you might want to be I'm a writer I'm definitely a writer 
And so with all of the written pieces, all of that has been giving me guidance through my Akashic Records. So a lot of stuff is happening, and I'm hoping that you are able to really access what it is that you really want. What do you really want right now? What is it that you want to feel in your body? What is it with your family or your friends or the cat down the street? What else do we need to know to bring up and prop up, you know, the frequencies? It's super powerful. So we'll see you soon. And namaste. <laughs>